this okay. out. <laughs> Since none of us here have been to China, we don't know for a fact that China exists. We've seen it on TV. That's TV. We've seen pictures. It's a picture. Faith would be me boarding a flight, flying to a place that they call China. And when I land, it would materialize before my eyes. And now, when I land in China, I now have experience that China does exist. Now, let me show you about faith. I board the flight and fly back to Rochester. I now have experience that no one can take away from me. But, at the same token, I can't physically bring China to you. But I have an experience through faith that no one can take away from me. But, at the same token, I can't physically bring China to you. I can tell you about it, I can show you pictures, I can video uh, record it, whatever the case may be. You won't know for a fact that China exists until you go. The faith that I have in God, no one can take away. I don't understand it all. It doesn't always make sense to me. A lot of times I'm confused. A lot of times I feel like I'm so off. Is this all right to say? But nevertheless, at the end of the day, I find myself repenting, fulfilling the way that I do. And God starts the journey again with me. Are you hearing what I'm saying? God says, I understand. I know, I know how you feel. I haven't given up on you. Now let's start this walk again. And then he sends me through things that confuse me. And let me explain it like this. Let me show you the work, the work of the Lord. Paul cast out a spirit of a woman of divination. You've uh -huh. read it? Uh -huh. It's Acts chapter 16. Mm -hmm. He cast a spirit out of this woman. The Lord let Paul cast a spirit out of this woman. Just because you obey God does not mean you won't have trials. Amen. So he cast a spirit out of this woman. And Paul is sent to prison. Mm -hmm. The prison doors are open and Paul has an opportunity to escape. How many would have ran through the door? <laughs> Paul didn't do anything wrong. But he's in prison. And if you're like me, since I didn't do anything wrong, as soon as the door is open, I'm out. But Paul stayed there and the Lord showed him why he allowed him to cast a spirit out to then be thrown in prison. Mm -hmm. Because the jailer got saved and the jailer turned around and got his whole oh, entire yeah. family yeah. saved. Man. Jesus tells the disciples to go to the other side of the what? The water. The sea. Go to the other side of the sea, right? Do you think Jesus didn't know that a storm was going to come? <laughs> Listen here. Job is, walk, is walking in the book of Job and he's going to and fro and God says, God starts the conversation. God says, has thou considered, he's talking to Satan, has thou considered my servant Job? Let me show you what's happening in our lives. Satan didn't say it. God said, right. go back and read it. God right. said, right. has thou considered my servant Job? Right. God starts the conversation. Mm -hmm. Satan says, how can I? You have such a great hedge of protection around him. Lower thy hedge and he'll curse you to your face. God says, mm -hmm. okay, go ahead and do what you will, except you can't come within the spirit. If Satan is his own being and he's not under the controls of God, why didn't Satan attack Job beyond what God said he could do? Why is Job, why is Satan answering God? Right. God is in control of all things. Amen. So after all the testing, the truth comes out of Job's heart. Job said, the thing that I fear the most must come upon me. We often give God what God's not asking for when God's asking for what he wants. The Lord says, give me this. I said, well, Lord, I have this. He said, I didn't ask for that. The thing that we fear the most, we have.